Okay, what we have here, if you want to just come around, we'll do this one again as a demo. Um, we have a person, this is my grade six student that was disobedient and didn't listen and I'll ran into a tree. Sorry, Wes. That's why some students are here was the first five, hardest five years of his life. <laughs> so anyway, we have uh, the person, he's hit a tree, so therefore he's got a broken femur. So you approach him, you do your scene survey, primary survey, check his, uh, open, make sure his airway is open, make sure his circulation is good, ABC, your ABCs. After that, now we're going to do a rapid body survey. You got down to the leg. You notice that it's laid out to the outside. So do you want to come support his leg for me, please? Is this your legs? Do you want to just take this to straighten out? Yeah. You're not yelling. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> just hold it in that position, okay? And he happened to fall right where there was a whole bunch of bandages in place, just to speed things up a bit. Um, so we have one at the armpit, one at the hip, Above the fracture, we have one below the fracture, the knees. We need one in mid-calf, another one at the ankle. And we try to keep them as broad as possible whenever you're doing support. So you can either push it underneath the cavities. Don't move your leg, it's broken. You put it underneath the cavities, <laughs> seesaw its way through. Or what you can do is if you have something like a piece of wire or a coat hanger handy, you can just take that and put it underneath, or you can dig a hole if it's snow or whatever, underneath. But that can also be used just to pull it through. So now what I need to do is I need some splints in order to secure it. Get all your bandages in place first. I'm going to get a bit personal here. Hmm. <laughs> So I've got my seven bandages in place. This first one split is going to go from the crotch all the way down along the foot. And the second one is going to go from the armpit all the way alongside his body. Past the bottom foot. Okay. Okay. I'm going to tie on the outside of this split here. Now, on this knot that I'm going to tie here, if we take and we tie here, and then if I want to tie the second part, it loosens off, right? So what I can do is I can put an extra wrap of material underneath there. Now it'll hold. Now I lock it off. <laughs> Does need glasses? If you can't get it quite tight enough as you want, what he can do is you can kneel on it right beside, you can lift up with a free end, you can tighten it a bit more. So this is just for a femur? Yeah, it's just for the femur. Down here, you can go the Right here. Right. So the chest, hip, now we're going to go above the fracture. Here, be careful because it could, the fracture is here. So when you're pulling here, it could hurt. So be gentle. How's it feel? Tell me Good. if it's too tight. No, not at all. How's that? Good. Good? I just, <laughs> that would have hurt. That would have hurt. You got no country hip in your head now. <laughs> yeah. You know, below the fracture. Knees. If you have somebody there to help you, you can. You don't have to put that extra wrap in there. So you did it once. Put a finger. And that too. <laughs> Good. Mm. 
did care. Still, can I still got feeling here? <laughs> I read. I did it up on that one. Notice I padded the the splints with a blanket. That way, it makes it a lot more comfortable for the casualty. You don't have to worry so much about padding hollows. Here we want to do a figure eight. Here we go. Check circulation. Okay. <laughs> so now we've immobilized this part. So you got the joint above the fractures immobilized, the joints below the fracture immobilized. Okay. Generally speaking, 